Now stop. Do you know how many people every single day contact me, email me, private message, DM me, and they say they want to pick my brain for free? I learned this the hard way. Okay, when I was getting started, when I was doing consulting, at first I wanted to help everybody, and I would let everybody just kind of like a free buffet. They can pick my brain anytime. We can go to lunch, and it waste hours and hours and hours of my time. Have you ever had this experience? Right, where you you want to help people, right, and then you go to lunch and you give them your best advice, you pour your heart out, and then what happens? They don't use a fucking thing. Why? Because there's no skin in the game. When they're not paying, they're not paying attention. That's the issue. I remember there was a time. One day I was on a phone call, and I was pouring my heart out. It was a gentleman calling me. Right, he was calling me and he said, "Hey." You know, I found you, Dan. Love what you do. He's my business. Can you help me? I said sure, and I spent two hours giving him my best advice, giving him my best strategies without charging him anything. At the time, my girlfriend at the time before Jenny, she overheard the conversation. I was doing the call in my room, and afterwards, she walked up to me and she said to me in Chinese, "Dumbass!" I said, "What?" She said, "Why are you giving all your knowledge away for free?" Well, but you know, I just, I just, he asked, and he called from, he called from the U.S. I thought I would help people. Then she said, "Well, but you spend a lot of time and energy and money acquiring your knowledge, acquiring what you know. Why are you giving it all away for free? Why are you giving in, in, information away? Why are you giving people enough information just to make them dangerous and not solve the problem?" I thought, you know what, that kind of makes sense. Then from then on, I started charging for advice. Charging for my time, believing in my own worth, believing in my value and what I bring to the table. So the next call, someone calls me and I said, he said, "Oh, you know, I I just want to pick your brain for free. If from now on, his his mental image I want you to have. Anyone who calls you and say I want to pick your brain for free, can I ask you a question? His the mental image I I want you to have. Imagine someone cut over your head, your your skull." Like that, and then with this long nail, like the Grinch, okay, going into your brain. That's picking your brain for free. From now on, anyone who tries to prick your brain, I want you to have that mental image. So don't do that. So Nick Spence calls me. Yeah, I wanted to pick your brain and ask you some questions. I simply said, you know what, sir? I'm more than happy to answer questions, but I charge a fee. You notice when you start charging money, when you charge for what you're worth, suddenly. People don't ask as many questions. I have a saying: There's no free lunch, especially with Dan Lok. I don't do free lunch. If you're gonna do lunch, I charge for consulting fee. Oh, let's just get coffee. Let's get together. You know, if I was to do coffee and do lunch with every single person who contacts me, I would I would have got nothing done. I would have been drinking coffee until like I'm 65. Right? You have to protect your time. Your most valuable resources, your time, your energy—they are your most valuable resources and commodities. Why would you give that away for free to people? It makes no sense. So don't do it. So from now on, let me give you some tips. Someone sends you an email. Someone wants to pick your brain for free. Can I do lunch? Can I do coffee? Let's connect. All this stuff. Two things I do. Number one, my team will send them a Clarity link. Clarity.fm. It's a, a way that they can book the time with me, with my rate. It's that simple. You can use other software where they have to pay before they talk to you. Oh, but Dan, I don't. Uh, that that feels so rude. It's not rude. It's being direct. If they're not going to value your time, then why would you spend your time trying to help people? And here's the thing: you're not helping them by giving them free advice because how many times you spend time with people? And you give them your best advice, and then what do they do? Nothing. Nothing. You waste your time. You waste their time because they have not invested in your advice. Free advice is not worth anything. That's the issue. That one-on-one -on -one time, you must value it. Second thing that you can do. They say, "Oh yeah, let, let's go grab lunch." Set the expectation. Exactly what do you want to happen? What you want happen during the lunch, right? What's going to happen? Oh, they say we're going to talk about shit. Well, why don't we talk about shit now on the phone? 
Tell me, tell me how you and I are going to do business. Just tell me how you and I are going to do business today. And you are that direct, right? And you be very direct and just say, hey, how are you and I going to do business? That's all you have to do. Oh, well, you know this and that. Okay, I charge this much. This is my fee. This is how I work. This is how I do business. You get them on the phone. You talk through that on the phone. So when you go to meet with someone, if I'm going to go more with someone, if we're doing business, I'm going there to pick up a check. I'm not there to have the meeting. I'm going there to pick up a check so that I qualify them up front. So that's how you eliminate, how you say no to people because you want to be liked. That's why you're afraid to do it. I can tell you that as you grow, as your business grows, as you get more exposure, you get more attention in the marketplace, you will be bombarded with requests. You have to learn how to say no, just for your own sanity. How to say no to people who want to pick your brain. Remember the long nail? Pick your brain? No. Value yourself, charge for what you're worth. Ask for money. Don't be afraid to ask for money. It eliminates 99% of the wannabes, the tie kickers, the freebie seekers, but the 1%. The 5% that are serious, they will pay.